And you've heard weeks of testimony about Alex's financial crimes, drug addiction, and lies. But after all that, the state has failed to prove, to provide a satisfactory answer to this question. Why, why, why? The state cannot provide an answer to this question because the answer is he would not. He would not under any circumstances, murder those that meant the most to him. Your oath requires that you hold the state to the exacting standard of proof that the state must prove the defendant's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. And when they rely solely on circumstantial evidence, these circumstances must be consistent with each other and when taken together point conclusively to the guilt of the accused beyond a reasonable doubt. And if they merely portray the behavior of the defendant as suspicious, you must find him not guilty. The prosecution wants you to view the evidence through the diabolical monster lens that they have tried to paint, but the law requires you to view it through the lens of innocence, where none of these things, individually or taken together, prove conclusively to Alex's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. On behalf of Alex, on behalf of Buster, on behalf of Maggie, and on behalf of my friend Paul, I respectfully request that you do not compound a family tragedy with another. Thank you.